So we see a resemblance between the rod of his mouth and the sharp two-edged sword that comes out of his mouth. Jesus is mentioned throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. Let's see if Jesus will return a second time as the judge, according to Scripture. Let's turn to the book of Revelation and prove that he is the one who rules with the rod of iron. Revelation chapter 2, verses 26 through 27 says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And there we see in verse 27, He shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall be broken to the shivers, even as I received of my father. So let's turn to Revelation chapter 19 and read 11 through 16. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So there is no doubt that the dragon was waiting for the woman, or Israel, to birth the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Satan tried to destroy him on the cross. But Jesus knows all things, and Satan can only know the seasons. Thank God Satan did not know what would happen when he used the Romans and the Jewish religious leaders to put Jesus to death on the cross. The cross was predicted as Jesus' death sentence in the Old Testament as well. Psalms 22, 12-19 says, Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death, for dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord, O my strength. Haste thee to help me. It's interesting to see in verse 18 that they parted my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. His death on the cross is also talked about in Matthew chapter 27, verses 28 to 37. And they stripped him, and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit upon him, and took the reed, and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him, and put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come out unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him, and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, they parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there, and set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. And I want you to pay attention to verse 35. And they crucified him and parted his garments and cast in lots that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, that they parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. So we see that Isaiah, 
prophesied of this. And we see in the New Testament, it says the same thing. It's always two witnesses in the scripture to confirm scripture, that it's true. Not just one scripture, but two. This is why prophecy carries a special blessing to those who study it. We see that the Roman soldiers cast lots for Jesus' garments. Another scripture was prophesied that Jesus' bones would not be broken. So let's go into the Old Testament and prove this, and then go into the New Testament. Psalms 22, chapter 22, verse 16 through 18, talks about this. The dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. And let's talk about this in John chapter 19, verses 31 to 35. The Jews therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was an high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first, and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bear record, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. Let's take a look at the bones of Jesus. There are other scriptures that prove that Jesus is the Christ, or Messiah. Psalms 34, 19-21 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Verse 20, He keepeth all his bones, and not one of them is broken. So we can see that Jesus died on the cross and that he is the Messiah, and that he is the one that's going to come back, that is the second coming of Christ. Let's dig a little deeper and prove this as the one who comes in the book of Revelation. Let's talk about the Passover lamb and how Jesus is that lamb. Let's turn to Revelation chapter 5 and read 1 through 10. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book, and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. As we see in verse 5, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven, loose the seven seals thereof. Let's read verse 6. And beheld, lo, in the midst of the throne were four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him who sat upon the throne. That is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. There is no doubt this scripture refers to Jesus as the Lamb of God that was slain. We will cover the Passover lamb as we go through scriptures in this series. In the Old Testament, they sacrificed animals, and Jesus became the ultimate sacrifice. It talks about this in scripture. Let's go back to the garden and continue. 
And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Verse 15 proves that God provided a way for his creation to come back. He also told the serpent that you would be defeated by Jesus Christ. Psalms chapter 91 verses 10 to 13 says, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. But he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Who tramples the dragon under his feet? That is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Daniel talks about this image that Nebuchadnezzar saw in his dream. And at the end of the dream, he saw a stone cut out without human hands, and it smote the image, and it became a kingdom. This is what the scripture is talking about, the thousand-year kingdom. We will cover that later in this series. 